Hey folks, Zuma came in back with another episode of My Garage. I am recording this slightly early, um, just for time frames and all that, although I think I'm on like, it's on 223 views, so, um, should be fairly sharpish, just here please. So, I'd like this way of this. And, Although, well, having said that, I also like this being with the cargo box. Sorry, just the mic. And, um, having said all that, there, we do have the ability to take off from. The other bits and pieces, so we should be able to get a, a fairly full um, vehicle from all three. Um, so that's yeah. So if we, uh, <clears throat> me, um, the wheel pump. The fact that this has all four wheels is incredible. That was the only one on that one, wasn't it? So I suspect we're going to need a lot more cutting discs, a lot more electrodes, I think is the word for um, Talking about and so I believe this has a I six three point five liter that has an I six three point five and an automatic four speed gearbox. That's an automatic four speed gearbox. That's a V eight four speed manual. And what I think I'll do, right, so there's some body panels we can interchange with PC, like I can get it um, back door rear quarter panel, um, front bumper, with its radiator support. Yeah, screwed. Because it's radiator support. Alright, so we can take the radiator support and most of the front end of this. That looks of things. Um, looks like it's missing a spring. Leaf spring, perhaps? So if. 
So these here ones, I want to. Um, I want to use for like parts transport and vehicle transport. So we will put on the tow bar. Um, and there's going to be some cutting to be done. So we can take off this. Um, aye, so there's no leaf spring on that side. Although we probably replaced both leaf springs with raised ones, we don't want to lower it. Um, and we can also... Oh, by the way, I couldn't find the... Um, the stray sand. Stray sand? Stray rust on that uh, truck. So we gave up and tried again and had the same in issue and then gave up and tried again. A little few times just to, so that we have a wee bit of money to, to spend. Um, And repair and all that good stuff. So, yeah, um, thank you for all the attention, by the way, all the subs, all the likes, all the comments. It's greatly appreciated. Um, next episode will be uh, same again, another 350 views. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And just It's a nice color. I like that color. I keep it that color. Um, so we can try and maneuver this around the side of the garage or garage, whatever you prefer. I say garage. Um, So yeah, so the likes of these here will be, as I was saying earlier on, they'll be used to ram into the wall, um, but more so like transport, you know, the likes of rubbish down to the pawn shop, um, this and now. Uh, there's a couple of bits, decent looking um, power mains. Right. Um, At least this one should be easier to get into if I need to get in the bed, in the bed as it is, um, considering it's got no back roots.
to the back window seems usable. Tell you what, how much for raised rear leaf springs? Let's have a look. Vehicles is eighteen hundred. Suspension, leaf spring rear. Rear one. And guessing greens raised purely because the uh, red ones are lowered on the other. And where have I put my spanner? There it is. So I can that even looks absolutely smashed anyway. So oh yeah, and then you have Absolutely mind. So yeah, so if you take that to the pawn shop, you usually get more money is than if you were to um, you know, just chuck it in the bin. Um, yeah, we'll worry about that later. So, let us look for rust. Um, yeah. I'm getting low on sand, you have one bag of sand left. <laughs> right, I suppose we should dismantle this back end. Bumper looks fine to me. Fish. Let's weave it, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we'll not worry about the rear bumper. Um, I'm gonna need the screwdriver for these legs. Very finicky. I don't know if you can fix them or if they're just 
Um, Put that off, as we can see, as screwed. Um, so there, get the pry bar, take this room off, which is, I believe, benched. Um, Hmm. I think once we get the uh, the rear quarter panel on that off, we will know um, if we need both sides or what the crack is. Um, this rear bumper looks a lot better. So I'll tell you what. Right, let's compare these rear quarter panels. So we know it starts there, and we know it's um, gone. Oh. Um, starts there, yeah. Unless that's a long piece. Is that a long piece? That's a short piece. You know something I think it is? Um, does it tell us anything? Nope. So there must be a way that we can just... Even these are screwed. Right. Um... Where else can we be? I'll tell you one thing I know what needs to be cut off is the radiator support. Um, but we will worry about that. Um, that off here. Okay, so we need another button disc. I think there's ten in this pack, or five actually. Five button discs in a packet of button discs, and then whenever it comes to uh, rewelding, we use the welder. We use those oils there. Um, yeah. Um, so we. I just out of range or that seems to be in otherwise reasonable condition. Right? Um
trying to figure out what I want to do because I like this one. But I'm not entirely sure if you're able to interchange the two of them. Frame rail, all the good stuff, firewall, bed floor. Yeah, so you have um, short bed floor and you have a long one. So this is clearly a short one. That's a long one. That could be even. Um, So we could just take the wheels off this um, and use them. And we can just restore this one. Get the color code for this is 3139A5. 3139A5. So that's its color now, and it's a long base, and yeah, we'll do that. Kind of wasted a cutting disc on this now. And we'll take the leaf springs off, obviously. The fenders and everything seem to be in good condition. So, yeah. Um, so, if we... Um, yeah. I mean, the exhaust looks in decent neck as well. I'm just happy that we have patch and wheels. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Just working away then at the. Uh, Trying to mix and match, I guess. Um, hmm. I guess I need a couple of hubcaps just. So this needs to help. Uh, 
Yeah, you have maps. Right. I had to push this into the carriage. Body panels seem okay, obviously rusty, but... Uh, front end looks okay as well, actually. Sometimes it's hard to see, though, until you put everything together. But, um, how much is this worth? This is worth 4600. Okay. Why? I might just sell as it is, might take the engine out. We'll have to see. Push this around with my superhuman strength. And so I can keep that window. Get rid of that window. Do you have an intact front window? No. I also have an intact rear window. It's washed, but you know. Um, hmm. Time for more sand blasting. Time for more sand. Last bag, if one run out of sand, I'll have to. Um, Good job, power the car. The sand's not one that you can chuck in your wee backpack. Because I don't think it is. Also, need to think about them. Um, People have suggestions for cars, because obviously I will want to um, have... Uh, initially I thought, you know, two cars, one for Rally and one for... Um, like, asphalt racing. But do we want a third car for the... Uh, surely just for the drag strip? It doesn't need to turn, just has to go in a straight line. We can just try and get the beefiest engine we can muster and track it in and hope for the best. It's a thought, it's an option. Ah, out of sand. Right, tell you what. Um. This should be fine, because I don't need to, um... Do stuff, I think. Uh, you don't need to transport an engine point thing. Right, whatever I get first, um... Paint the 121 block one, fixed rust, or air filter. All right, all right, and I can also pick up some more uh, cotton discs and the other thing as well. Another thing, so just build the scrap out. Uh, we need an air filter for. Is that a lad? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It is a lad. Okay, fair enough. Um. Air filter for a lot. So, yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, I forgot to filter the engine. Hopefully, we got lucky. 
Yay, we got one. Why is the game being frenetic? Pick up the damn flipping air filter. There we go. Game All right, uh, we'll take this for a wee drive and down to the shop. Which is still open. And we will <clears throat> test the air filter. <clears throat> um, so, is it a manual? Or is it an automatic? It is a five speed manual. Quietest fucking engine I've ever heard. So yeah, we need sand. We need um, sand, hidden disks, and welding electrodes. I wish I knew what gear I was in. Just you. Take a look around, all right? Should we just grab the. Yeah, we'll grab this as well. I think it's a 16 inch flap. And can I put them in the bag? It's okay. Sweet. Um, so we might as well get. 10 bags. Why not? Are you fucking kidding me? So, I was trying to purchase um, those wee electrodes, but instead it has looked through the wall and got me to purchase these long trailer covers instead. At nine hundred and fifty dollars. How many have I bought? Three of them. Well, I guess we're going to be buying three long trailers later. Not this episode, but at some point. <sighs> Oops. So, electrodes to the. So it seems your limit to what you can put in your uh, bag is ten items. Don't need anything else? No. Aye, fair enough. How about a refund? 
Um, sure. I'm sure we'll eventually use those things. Smallest bit I've ever seen. How many do I have here? Five here. So I should have five more. One. Yeah. Now four. Ah. <sighs> Oh well. That'll keep us going for a while anyway. Now to get home and hopefully one piece. And some heavy traffic. This uh, came Yes, so we will finish blasting the sand off. Um, the long bed. Um, frame for the most part seems grand on the long pit. Um, and then we can get the V8 from the box truck and uh, fix it up. So, just more sand. And the, the rear bumper looks to be in better condition on that as well, so we can probably get rid of that one. <clears throat> um, yeah. Game has been from Nikki. Reasons unknown. Put them for there you go. So we have plenty of supplies now. Um, well, with cutting discs, um, electrodes, and sand. I'll keep us going for a while. We won't need to borrow customers' cars again anytime soon. Unless we want to go and collect those uh, large things, the covers. Because we can, I think you can possibly put them on box trucks. No, it might just be chillers, I think. Uh, but yeah. Right, let's uh... 
Let's continue. I don't know why this is with the middle. There goes one bag of sand. Should have bug plant. I will not worry about that there too much. Um, let's go grab that engine from the box truck. Is that an automatic as well? No. What else? One of them had the automatic. What one had the automatic? Um, we had the automatic. Okay. Because for what I intend to use it for, it automatically handles. Because we aren't going to be racing these, so. And. Yes, I need also. There we go. And it has an exhaust. So it needs a new left head, needs a new fuel pump, needs a new right left head cover, um, an exhaust manifold on the left hand side, needs an exhaust manifold on the right hand side, and a new head on the right. Um, seems to have a spark plug. Um, Carburetor looks like it seen better days. Okay. All right, ignition coils been better. So, a of you out to there. Feels like this episode's been a whole lot of nine and nine. But yes, we will be taking this. We will be using this um, as our sort of daily. Uh, um, we'll grab the floor from this. Um, 
on the steering column bedding so things from this. We need to get the radiator mount. Um, well, this whole front end pretty much has to come off by looks of things. So, yeah. Um, suppose we really should check and make sure there's a timing belt and stuff, or a timing chain. And, oh yeah. I have stuff in my hand. Okay, okay. Um, and then box, yeah. Right, um... Okay, so the coil looks fine, firewall looks fine, the floor needs to come out, and pretty much the entire front end needs to come out, which we can grab from your man over there. Um, we need to double check the sort of suspension stuff that's on here and see if there's anything decent, like that seems to be fairly decent brake disc, for example. Um, front end except for the radiator support and then you can take the grill and stuff off this and oh, it seems to have a decent yeah fenders seem okay <laughs> I think between the three vehicles, we have most of a vehicle. Um, I want to start dismantling the front. I think I do. Um, so if we... Set you here. Okay, ready you because you're dented and the rear bumper that's on this is a lot better anyway. Um, um, I suppose we'll take the engine out as well, probably be a good idea. Um, I'm going to keep the transmission to one side. Double check the pistons in this. And yeah, there's three good, good pistons in it. So, don't keep an eye. Oh. And door. We'll know if things are 
the ship in once we uh, start to rebuild, because obviously then it won't look quite right. And we have um, front and rear light and spit. Which is, you know, a surprise actually. Um, right, so we'll start cutting. Um, or we'll not, I guess. I think they're bad, but gray line. Uh, I'll put them on one side, but I'm 99% sure they're done. Um, it doesn't have one. Alright, because that's a prime one, yeah, the earth fire. So we can keep that, we can put in that. Um, yes. I notice it say om a lot in videos. Um, unintentional. So we're going to need a radiator support, we need a right and the left inner thing. Um, we need the floor, we need that support thing, and not the KPI, no, I need go. That's the automatic transmission, so we want to keep that. And we need the right frame, seems fine. Left frame scenes context and yeah. Steam column looks okay ish. We'll make do what we have, and then as as we drive it, as we use it, we'll uh, identify anything that needs to be changed out. Um, oh yes, so if we're gonna take off the front, we're going to have to uh, take off. Everything. So does that? Oh, that's handy. So it's not welded on; it's just bolted on. Welded on in smaller vehicles, I guess. And so we need to get the No upper supports, okay. Um, so there's no upper supports. What is that? So what I'm trying to oh well, that works. Um what I'm trying to do 
is get the. Uh... Oh, I see. So it's a four wheel drive. That makes sense. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is just get the. Um... The wheels off, you know, the whole thing rather than just a single wheel. And that seems to have days, but uh, yeah. Um, you know, get this whole. There's a word for it. It's not coming to me, but there is a word for it. Because I think I need it off in order to, um, you know, replace that stuff. So that would make sense if you do so. Right, so this is where we're at. <sighs> I think I want to absolutely make two cuts and uh, run out of stuff like that. Oh, guarantee you, there's one more thing to cut. Does this need to That's more for the support stuff. But oh, that's one bit I need to do. Is it something in there? Um, no. Must just be randomness. Hopes and dreams is what's holding this uh, floor on. Hopes and dreams. 
Um, oh, oh, look at that one. And you're in good condition as well. Sweet. I call that a win. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, you have... Um, Support. Transfer is there. All right, is that floor still on? For us to leave like lines that uh, cut things off. It must just be because it's. It must just be bolts, right? Okay, um, I seem to have a full pad with me. So I'm guessing. I guess I'll just take the cap off this and attach it because obviously the floor and everything's fine on that. But that'll be an exception. So um, I'm very sure I said earlier in the episode another 250 views and we will get the next episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe for more feedback, suggestions, etc. All welcome in the comments. Um, and I shall hopefully see you in the next one. Peace.